Drunk boy. Drunk boy. We live? Drunk boy. Lab talk. This lab talk. 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 Everybody, this your boy E Dub. I'm here with my boy LO, aka Stay Fresh, aka Fresh 100. <laughs> What's good with it, bro? What it do? What it do, man? We in the building, Zodiac in the building, man. You know yeah, what I'm for sure, for sure, man. I just wanted to catch up with you and shit, man. And, you know, get everybody in tune with you. It's been a minute, you know. I done been away from the rap shit, man. So you know, this lab talk. I want to chop it up with you about that shit first. What was your first rap name? Stay fresh, shout it. Stay fresh. Yeah, that's when you was with uh, Top of the World, ENT and all that. No, uh, no, I was, I was, I was just stay fresh, shout it by myself. But I was fucking with uh, my cousin Shasha and the Rude Boy nigga. You know what I'm saying? Okay, D, D, come yeah, yeah D, I know D, Rude D, Boy D. D, D. I'm gonna get him on here. Yeah, he's a good nigga, man. For real, both of them. That's why. That's when I first did my first, uh, my first track was with Shasha and D. And okay. then I just kept going and shit. Okay. Well, shit. I used to see you doing a lot of shows and shit. With uh, with with P dot and them. With oh the, yeah, with yeah. The top, I thought you was part of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're my family too, though. You know what I'm saying? Top of the world, man. Shout out to P dot. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had got he had got linked up with some shows and shit. Like, oh, okay. Sha Sha moved. D had did something else, so I started fuck with P dot. But in the midst of me fuck with P dot, I was fuck with Baker Man too. Yeah. This okay. When he, this when he was trunk type production. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On the real. I fuck with Baker Man too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Baker Man. And then, like, me and P-Dot were doing shows, like, I mean, P-Dot was doing shows a lot of places. Milwaukee, really? P-Dot. Plenty shows. You know I what remember saying? I used to be at some of them shit, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were doing plenty of shows, so shit. Shout out to P-Dot all day. So, so then, I saw you do a couple releases on the UDG, on the Untouchable Dead game, Corn Corleone. When, what, how that come about? Shit, Corn Corleone, like, me, shit, made me a proposition. Like, see, this is what everybody don't know. Everybody just think, like, motherfucker got signed with, bro. Like, mm -hmm. like, like me coming on the bro, like, shit, it was, it was a real live, like, paperwork, all that shit, like, like, bro. Partnership. Yeah, bro wasn't faking, like, everybody thought bro was, like, no, I know corn. You know, I know what I'm saying? Like, I know the behind like, the like scenes. I know it. Like, bro got a vision. <laughs> like, for real. Yeah, he got a vision, like, for the shit. Like, so that's why I respect him. That's why UDG will always be the home. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. anything I do from here on out still gonna be UDG. For sure. Just because bro down south don't mean, like, the family ain't still here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's always gonna be UDG. Shout out to Corn Corleone. You know what I'm saying? So what happened with the, why you end up switching from Stay Fresh to Fresh 100? On some real shit, like uh, I went to the joint. I did five years. I went to the joint, and I found out the nigga. Uh, it's a DJ in Atlanta named Stay Fresh. Oh, this nigga you know what own what the name and shit. He own the name, oh, so okay. I could I could do that. Fuck you know what I'm saying? So I had, to, I, had to, I had to switch it up when they come on my ass. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so, what's happening. Then I felt more comfortable with the, the Fresh 100 because yeah, that's like, hard, I, I've been through I've been through the street shit, like prison, like a lot of these niggas be rapping, like talking that shit, but really don't be. Yeah. They don't be with the shits. You no, feel what I'm saying? Talk. And speaking on the street shit and what you just said, I want to touch on your infamous Southside tattoo, the 18. How that come about? What made you do that? So the Southside tattoo like come from. That's where I'm from. I'm from 18th Street. I ain't from like 21st and 17th. You know them extended family. But I'm, mm -hmm. from, I'm from 18th Street, like the Terry Pattons. You know what I'm saying? The Keep the Freaks. That's where I'm from. Like I'm born and raised over there. You know what I'm saying? But when I went to Southside. I really got the idea from 50 Cent, you know oh, what I'm okay. saying? So, cause he had that Southside Jamaican yeah. Queen and shit. So then like, 
when I went to the joint, like I got 18 on my shit, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that's where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? So and then like, like like my it's more than it's more than just a tattoo. Like my it means something, cause it, every nigga on my back I kicked it with, fuck with, yeah. it then gone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like see a lot of cats, see that's what I'm trying to get with these interviews and shit. I want to get people insight on what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking Racine know what's happening. They know what that's about. No doubt. Another motherfucker looking at this shit like, man, that shit hard. Like, what's, what's this? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these niggas just go get tats for art just to be doing some shit. This shit yeah. don't mean nothing. Yeah, yeah, like every tattoo on my body, I got, I'm tatted on, I'm starting my chest next week, but every tattoo means something. I got Fedario on me, free Fedario. I got Terry and Tony Shannon on me, free cousin. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I got spook, I got spook on me. You know what I'm saying? I got, uh, I got James Barker, Terry Patton, Jason Barnes, Black Rob, Juicy, you know what I'm saying? Every nigga that fly, you know, every nigga I fuck with, it, it, it wasn't, I don't got niggas on my back that yeah. I just know of. Like every nigga I had conversation with, I conversed with all the, everybody on my back. One of the cats you just mentioned, James Barker, you had a, a feature, a, a album that dropped called The Return of James Barker. How did that come about? And explain to us a little bit about who James Barker is, you know what I'm saying? What influenced you to make that? Uh, James Barker, stand-up nigga. When I say James Barker, I'm talking about his dad, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, um, we were just we were just talking back, this is back 2011. And I made I made that mixtape in, in, in 45 days, too. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I made it. why you do it in the crunch like that? That's when you was doing the countdown? To the, no, know? it was just like, like you know, when you got that, when you that, got that, that music vibe, you just feeling yeah, it. You in that zone. You in the zone. Yeah. You in the studio every day, thoughts coming in. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had a couple features, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, it was, it was just a great vibe, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, it was and a then, good body of work too. I like so, that motherfucker. And Jane Barker and, and Jane Barker will forever be a legend on the street for for the hustler. You know what I'm saying? Superman. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say for a motherfucker who don't know who James Barker is. The first James Barker senior. It's a couple juniors. Yeah. Rest in peace to my to my partner James Barker Jr. Rest but in, um, free Mook too, man. Free Mook. Free yeah, James Barker too. Free Mook too. James Barker on the real. But uh, what 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 made James Barker stand out to you as far as like? The hustler, like, like, explain to the people a little bit about him, like. The whole concept of Jay, Return of Jane Barker it was, at that time, I was financially fucked up. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Jane Barker came home from doing 20 years. Yeah. And like, he ain't missed the beat. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? He had, he, so I, so it was, the, the whole, the whole impression was like, like, shit, if a nigga could do 20 years and bounce back, like, nobody yeah. else ain't missed the beat. Bankroll big, still ride fly, still dress fresh. How come the fuck I'm free on this earth? I can't bounce back either. You know what I'm saying? No matter what situation I'm going through, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I could bounce back too. Most definitely. You know as long as you breathe and shit. What I was trying to get at with that question was a motherfucker rolled over on James Barker, set him up, sent him to the prison. That nigga didn't, say, didn't say a word. He took his time, he took his lick, did that time, and came back and stand up cat. A lot of these motherfuckers don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was a significant part of that. You know what I mean? It is. It. You right. It is. It is. It is. You know, he's stand up nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, like every motherfucker did prison bit. I did prison bit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, motherfucker put coattails on him, coattails on her, coattails. But a motherfucker don't know to that black and white. You know what I'm saying? Really? And a motherfucker don't. A motherfucker. A motherfucker can say any nigga in the city a, a rat or. A, but if you don't got no paperwork on the niggas or what? You know what I'm saying? That's that's one thing about the feds. When I went to the feds, like you couldn't, I couldn't say he double rap without no, proving. You gotta have that paperwork. You know they gonna give you your paperwork. Exactly. Or you can't touch this motherfucking mail, nigga, until your paperwork comes through the door. You're not really. walking around the feds like. Oh, you gotta let these niggas know what you in there for. Niggas wanna see what's happening. As far as like with the with the with the labels, with the UDG and all that, who else was like a part of that when you was when you was over there doing your joint venture with them? Oh man, Cartier Moles, man. Shout out to Cartier Moles, aka Pretty Boy. 
We got uh, Kwame, mm -hmm. aka S Dot, uh, Marcus, aka Fifty. Excuse me, shit. We got um, man. We have my son. You know what I'm saying? He just had came on the end. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Fetty Elves. You know what I'm saying? But shit, it was really UDG. Was like, like, oh June C. Shout out to June C. Colonel yeah, the Colonel. Colonel. Shout out to the Colonel, man. Good nigga, man. Yeah, I gotta catch up with you. You know, like really, like. Niggas is tripping because his album ain't even dropped. Like, he probably got two albums right now that go hard. Well, shit, um, we sitting up here in the Zodiac bar, Zodiac Lounge and everything. How this come about? What made you want to get off into that? Man, Zodiac Lounge came from this. Like, uh, we was at Truth on Junction. Everybody mm -hmm. knew about Truth. And then my partner, man, he like, shit, he found a big adventure. So, shit, we ended up here, you know what I'm saying? But. And then, to be honest with you, like, shit, my other partner then bought him out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bought the shit out. Shit, I just run the motherfucker, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, these my people, like, shit. Yeah. I, I get money out this motherfucker, they do, too, you know what I'm saying? Real, long as it makes Shout out to MC bread. and Gizzy, man, for real. Okay. Well, shit, as far as, like, the music and all that, you still fucking with us? You got, what, you, you got yeah. something for us to look forward to, or what? Hell yeah, man. Fake friends, real enemies, man. Coming real soon, man. This summer, man. Just this, this motherfucker coronavirus and the other business shit I've been doing, like, shit. This movie shit with uh, Sean DJ Fresh. Yeah, I was you finna ask saying? you that, too. 21 I... motherfucking keys, man. Nigga yeah. got a main role for real, man. That's on that's on what's fresh what what's the uh that's on, um, production company? 3MG Productions. Okay, yeah, y'all go check we'll that go to, out. Uh Sean DJ Fresh page on Facebook, man. You see that shit, man. You see the trailer, you see what's going on, man. Don Carnell is in that motherfucker, man. Okay. He got some big acts, man. This connection need... notice too coming too, man. Watch out for that shit. Myra Jewel's in that motherfucker, man. And then as far as the music, I know you got the bloodline. What's up with son? Man, my son, the truth, man. I'm telling y'all, man, watch out for this Fetty L's movement, man. He coming, man. What's his name? Fetty L's, man. See, Mr. Turn look, Up the City, man, for point, real. man. Fetty L's. Shit, anything else you want to get to people before we get up out of here? Man, listen, man. Don't let nobody stop your motherfucking dreams, man, for real. Like, like this shit real out here, man. He dub, man, a real nigga, man. I did songs with him. Rest sure. in peace, Kaboo. You know what I'm saying? Double O, my nigga, grinding, for real. Man. Like, uh, shout out to everywhere, man. I'm Southside nigga for life, man. Corona don't stop shit, man. On for real. real, we out here, man. Oh, shout out to Baker, man, too. On the real. D-Rock. Go get that motherfucking Big Rob CD, too, man. For real, go get that Big Rob shit. What Big Rob shit called? Ah, uh, what the God, what the fuck is it? Guys, what the fuck? Oh, shout out to Lil DB too from the P, man. Shout out to them P niggas, man. They, they got shit rocking. Yeah, you gotta get me in tune with all the young cats, them man. Them niggas rocking, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The niggas that's up next, the hot ones. Hey, but oh yeah, shout out to my OG, man. The first nigga who I thought was gonna make it was Bug Knight, nigga, with KGB, nigga. On the real. For real, nigga. JF and them, nigga. Them niggas was like, them niggas is, you know what I'm saying? Like, them <laughs> niggas was like, we in the hood, you know what I'm saying? We in, in the depths of the hood, you know, it's all about survival, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, them <laughs> like, niggas Like, Bull Knight was that nigga. D-ball, free D-ball, man. Yeah. R.I.P. Black Rob, too, man, for real, for real. For sure, that's 100, with Fresh 100. We signing out, laptop. 100. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking.